Howdy folks, I'm just working on my garden, which will be revealed in a video near you. It's definitely taking a lot longer than expected, but if I ever make some humongous progress on it, I will let you guys know, of course. Today we are going to be doing our second villager lawn, our combination lawn. Um, today we're doing Flora and Dom, which I think is the best possible combination. Very, very pink. I'm loving it. Very outdoorsy. So my plan is to do an outdoor gym but also an outdoor relaxed area because Flora is not about that life. But first, of course, is our designer of the day, which we're getting ready to do right now. I gotta go pick one. <laughs> okay, so this person has intensely detailed cottage core stuff. I love this. Look at this, this lavender pinafore, or I don't know how to say it, a coat, pinafore coat. These are so cute. I'm gonna try to find something super pink so just that I can match like the aesthetic that I'm making right now. Ooh. This sunflower cardigan's cute. I'm gonna save that one. We're gonna use that one. But yeah, this is Casper from Bees. And this is their character code. If you wanna check them out, I think their designs are super gorgeous. I, I'm in, I'm in, obsessed with them. Ooh, very cute. But I feel like for this one, we need shoes. So I'm gonna go see what the sisters have. And if they don't have anything cute enough, we'll just go get something we already have at home. Uh, ooh, actually they do have some cute Zoris the pink one. Oh, the pink one looks nice. Alrighty, and now we're changing our hair. This is not a tight bun look. This is a flowy, I'm feeling like wavy hair maybe. I don't know. You know, just like my everyday look pretty much in real life. Uh, oh, that's cute. I wish I had like a bow in my hair or something. Mm, I'm gonna go with the short one. It's a classic for me. Uh, I kind of want to have a flower in my hair though. I don't know if I want a pink hyacinth or a pink rose, you know what I'm saying? I think I might want, ooh, that was literally the perfect touch that I needed. Okay, that was so cute. So our theme, let's get all our theme, like in our theme feels. Uh, our theme right now is the beach and the gym. I do have a gym in my room or in my house, so I'm probably gonna take a couple things from the gym in my house for that. But right now I'm thinking more of like a flora style. What is she like? Um, she's kind of like vibey. Her house seems real chill. Oh, a sandcastle for sure. Um, maybe a surfboard. Who knows? Honestly, I'm just grabbing whatever I can. Uh, I'm going to say lifeguard chair. Why not? Because that's beachy. Um, I'm going to say the tire toy is kind of a good in between the two of them. Uh, I'm going to take the weight bench, obviously, and the pull up bar. Uh, I think the exercise ball is cool. And that one's pink. The one that I have in my house is white, but they're both pink. So that makes sense for them. Let's see what we have in our gym. And then I'm gonna see if I want even tables at at their space. I'm gonna take this small one because I feel like that's more of a beach theme. Uh, yeah, uh, maybe I'll take this weight scale also. Uh, let me see, miscellaneous, um, oh. The coconut juice for sure. Oh, I'm in the fruit basket. That's both of them. They love to stay healthy and fit. Uh, I'm gonna take the mixer just in case. I feel like I like that. Uh, the beach, when I think of the beach, what do I think of? This is harder than it looks. I wish I had a towel. That's one thing that I've never, I still don't have and I really, really want it is a towel. I'm gonna take this tin bucket just because it's full of water. And I feel like that's something that Dom would use. I don't I'm gonna take the towel basket. You always need a towel when you go to the gym, get that sweat on. And I think that's honestly it. I can't think of anything that's more beachy or more gymmy. They should have dumbbells, that would be cool. Yeah, that's kind of everything. I mean, at most I would put maybe a little fence around the gym, but we ain't got that kind of luxury for space, so. Um, oh, I also cleaned up everybody's yard. So I got rid of all those gross like brown spots that were there, so. Now they're nice and pretty. And then this is like meringue slash Texas space. And I thought that meringue at least would have like, you know, roses aligned in the, in her yard. So I kept this one here, but I already finished this little sand spot. Wow. Look at all the room for activities. This is great. I love it. It's amazing. Um, yeah, so I already finished doing the sand part. I am obviously gonna change where the ramp is so we can change that later. Um, I do want the gym to be down here. I feel like it would look really cool here. And we can have a little 
you know, lazy spot right here. Because the gym, I don't know. I feel like the gym needs to be... Um, or actually, I might switch it. I think I might make the gym a little bit more condensed and then have a really cool just chill out spot because the chill out stuff does take quite a bit of room. So see what we have. Oh, wow. I can really tell the difference between all of these things. So I definitely see there being like a wall here, like an imaginary wall, but also maybe an imaginary wall here. So okay that's not bad that's not bad i might switch things around depending on how i like it but first i'm glad we have the gym space area at least established on where it is so now we're going to focus on the chill space i kind of want there to be like a bar here Ooh, i know what i want to do i know what i'm going to do so i think i'm going to put the lifeguard chair here just because i think that's really cool to have a lifeguard chair all the way up here yeah we're gonna make it more of a centerpiece there and then we'll see what else do we have we have oh a hammock oh yeah that landed perfectly where i wanted it so then we can like freaking chill that's nice that's so nice um, i'm gonna put the sand castle down here a little bit i'm gonna put the surfboard right next to the lifeguard you know they need something that's gonna save the people in the waters even though we're two stories down and it's going to take us a while with our ladder to get up there. I'm going to actually, I'm going to move the tire toy. I'm going to move the tire toy on the side because it's taken up too much of the main space. Place it. Yes. And you know what? I'm going to move the hammock down a little. I'm going to like, I'm going to like that way better. I feel that's way better. I like that. Okay. Now we have a whole space, still space to do activities. I do definitely like having a space for them. Yes. That looks so nice. Okay, yeah, I like that. And then I'm gonna put like the protein shaker like up here or something. Or do I even like the protein shaker at all? That's a good question. That's a good question. I feel like instead of the protein shaker, I could put the coconut juice down there because then at least it seems like, you know, why are you not drinking something that's beach related when you're at the gym at the beach? Doesn't make any sense. Um, let me think about what I can put right here. I definitely could decorate this space with, um, flowers. That's the one thing I think that the wind flowers are really good for is they look really nice on the beach. They just look like, I don't know, it makes it more tropical. I don't know why. Yes, so I have many to choose from. I'm thinking the white ones are just classic, but would they kind of clash with, like, the theme that I have going on with, like, the red? I don't know. I feel like the red's a little too intense. I don't want the flowers to be like the main event. I just want them to be like on the side. So maybe I'll grab some oranges as well. <gasps> Wait, I think I have a pink one. Yes, the pink one looks so nice. I'm so grabbing that. I feel like flowers would look really nice in the gym and you can just like walk by, do your thing. I'm gonna plant a couple here. Maybe another one, another white one here. Plant, just let them go wherever they want really, you know? Maybe do a uh, orange one and a pink one, maybe another white one or something. You know, they have their space. Wow, this is, looks so nice. I'm kind of proud of myself. I'm kind of proud that I did this. This looks so nice. Let me get rid of that. Ew, it looks so nice. Yeah, we have a little sandcastle station. We have a relaxing station. We have a lifeguard station, so we are safe. Uh, we have a gym. Dude, I feel like Flora and Dom would love this. I feel like they'd love it. I don't know. I, I can't really ask them, so I guess we'll never know, but I think they would like it. Okay, so let's take a look. Tiffany and Maddie's lawn, which is nice. I think I do have a couple things from the Nook store on the way that I might change their setup with a little bit more. Um, a little bit more dark stuff. And then this is Flora and Dom. I definitely think that I did a better job on this one. I definitely do think I have to customize the ground in the first one a little bit more, but I, I really like how this turned out. And the best part is that when I do switch this over, all I do, all I have to do is just like move where the flowers are and that's pretty much it. So yeah, this is nice. I really like how this turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. I hope you guys consider making a little beach lawn for your, you know, beachier characters, even like a beach gym. That's really cool looking. Um, but yeah, it's going to be it from me. I will see you guys in the next one. All right. Bye. <laughs>